there is some cool air. And the cool air says, man, I am bored with being up here in Canada. I think I'm going to cruise on down to Denver and cool everybody off. So the cool air comes in like this and says, hey, hot air, why don't you clear on out of there? I'm coming in to cool everybody off. You know, in the classroom, we try to bring in what we can, and we have examples and we have models, but nothing compares to the real thing. So having um, a real life weatherman here is awesome because the students get to see what they were learning in action. I think that it's really important to inspire kids to be interested in math and science. Uh, we have so many problems that we face that this generation is going to help solve. And so it's the kids in here today that have become the inventors and the scientists and the leaders that hopefully will solve the problems we face with climate change. We're just wrapping up our weather and climate unit. Um, they had an assessment two weeks ago where they actually got to predict the weather in Minnesota. Um, so they got to put some of this into action before seeing this presentation, which is very cool. I like the kids' questions and um, uh, some of them are the same questions that kids would have asked 30 years ago. And then there's some newer ones that I think are great. You know, you do get some questions about how the world's warming up and the changes we're going to see. And I think that's really important that they're, they're thinking about that. They were fully engaged today. Um, I mean, we've got a class of talkers and they were not talking. <laughs> they were invested in learning a little more about weather and how it applies to their life. It's really fun to be here. Uh, I had a great time going to Ms. Schmidt's class and meeting Jake the Snake, who was here when my daughter and son went to Thunder Ridge back in the 90s.